I think the guys are still going at it. So I wanted to take a moment to explain the expense of an Eve and Perlin extension system. It's more than just some extra panels and maybe you know a purlin sticking out a little bit which some people seem to think and we seem to get uh, a little bit of complaints from folks when they get eve extensions priced and they say well how could that cost you know an extra thousand or fifteen hundred dollars just for a little one foot extension running around the building well i'm going to give you the answer it's because it is a complicated system so what we're looking at here is the eve beam that's, uh, or the, I'm sorry, we're really looking at the corner, but the, the piece on top of the column that comes down, the heavy gray iron, is made by hand. Uh, that can't be auto welded or anything, and it's usually an eight and a quarter, which is a different measurement than a W8. And it's got flanges, or uh, I'm sorry, clips welded onto it, a lot of clips. There's four, five, six clips on each one of these that are welded on. It's totally made by hand. And it's just an expensive piece in the shop we're paying you know 80 90 100 dollars for one of these depending on the length and that's just for that part has and that doesn't even include the steel that's just the labor then in addition we have this just a one foot extension we have two eave struts so we're doubling up the number of eave struts here these are uh, eight by five 14 gauge eave struts they're incredibly heavy and uh so it adds quite a bit of material to the building. On top of this, then we have to put in all of the extra angles to catch the sheeting. We have to put in extra rake angles and bottom angles. Uh, purlin extension. Purlin extension really isn't that big of a deal because that is just purlin sticking over. But there is extra rake angle, uh, two extra sticks of rake angle, or two extra, so three pieces of rake angle on the thing. Uh, just to just to get it done uh, And then you know, there's still another eve extension beam that needs to go on to this end and all, all ends actually That's just this little guy again, you know, it's just a $20 part But you add them up and it really turns into uh, an expense so It's up to you whether or not you get a eve extension on your building they do really, really look nice. They add a lot to the building. I think they're they're very nice to look at. They're beautiful. Uh, if it fits in your budget, I highly recommend them. It is a little bit more of a pain to install. That's it.